Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. My name is Kürşat Cesur. I work at Çanakkale 18 Mart University and I came to Atırav University as a visiting scholar. And now I want you to learn about how to use games in teaching English to young learners. Well, if we talk about, you know, myself, I have completed my undergraduate, graduate and doctoral studies in the field of English language teaching. And now I am working as associate professor doctor at Çanakkale 18 Mart University at the ELT department, English language teaching department. And I am basically giving the course teaching English to young learners. I taught to young learners, to children, many times. So I am experienced in this field. Firstly, I want to say that children love to play games and playing games is a natural part of their life. Okay, not only growing up, but also learning a language. So it's a natural part of their life. I have never seen a child who came to school to learn a language. It's not their key motivational factor. They are motivated through enjoyable activities. If activities are enjoyable, they are memorable. They can learn better. If they learn better, they feel successful. If they feel successful, they are motivated. If they are motivated, they build positive attitude towards learning new things. So, that new thing should be again an enjoyable activity. So, it's a cyclical process. You need to start from enjoyable activity and to build positive attitude towards learning new things. Therefore, it's really important you play some fun games with your students and teach your colleagues about these games. I have some card games. They are fun and they can be used all by all English teachers. So you will see these card games and at the end of the, this presentation you will have a certificate from my university, Çanakkale 18 Mart University. Well, theories are great. I can talk about theories for hours, but they are great in theory, okay? So something practical would be much better to present here. So I will be presenting some practical games that can be used to practice all vocabulary items using only one set of cards. So what is needed to play these games? Yes, we need a set of cards. Here you can see we have 10 vocabulary items like kick the ball, catch the ball, paint, run, sing a song, hit the ball, throw the ball, hold the ball, walk, and jump. So for each picture, for each vocabulary item, we have four pictures, okay? So we need a set of cards, and for each vocabulary item, we need four pictures. Well, you can see all these card games on my YouTube channel. It is called 1010 for Kids. Okay, why it is 1010? 10? Because I have 10 units and in each unit I have 10 words for young learners. They are for kids. So, it's called 1010 10 for Kids and in this YouTube channel you can see many games okay, that you can play with young learners. And you can see all card games okay, in one playlist. Now I will uh, talk about my webinar okay it is free and you can get your certificate after watching this webinar however it is in Turkish okay but if you don't understand the games in Turkish then you can come to my YouTube channel and see all the games I talked in the webinar in English so you can watch their English and also get your certificate from the system from our certificate system so we have lots of games okay more than 35 activities that we can do using only one set of cards 
Well, to talk about my free webinar, we have, you know, it's about using games in teaching English to young learners. You will watch three videos in Turkish. They are all supported by videos and pictures, so I am sure you will understand it. Because all the videos, you know, all the games are, are taught by me using videos and pictures. If you don't understand the game, again, as I said, you can see the playlist in 1010 for kids YouTube channel. And after watching these three videos in our certificate system, you will get your certificate of participation. What is the link for this? Well, as you see, a certificate.jomu.edu.tr. So this is our website for you to get your certificate. When you click this, you know, website, you will see you know some information about yourself you will write your name your surname nationality gender and as you are not you know turkish citizens you will not have tc id number but instead you can write your passport number your email gsm your mobile phone number place of birth date of birth name of the institution okay which university or which school you work at and the department it can be English language teaching can be you know uh, preschool education and you will write your address then click register the system okay which you see it's in green then after registering the system if you write your email correct please check your email before clicking register the system then a pass password will come to your email box so you will have this password and with this password you will sign in the system how well let's see when you come back to the you know website at the top you see oturum aç oturum aç in turkish means sign in so also at the left side, you know, at the left side, you can also see Oturumach. From, you know, both clicks, you can sign in to the system. When you click it, you will see sign in as a student. The first choice, okay, sign in as a student. So you will sign in as a student. You will write your email address. You will write your password that you had in your email address. And then you will click sign in you will click oturum aç and there you are you register you should register the course well you will see many courses okay of Çanakkale 18 Mart University but you will come to free courses okay ücretsiz kurslarımız ücretsiz means free you will not pay any money then after seeing you know all these free courses you will click to Eğitime başvur, eğitime başvur, which means register to the course. So after clicking this one, eğitime başvur, register to the course, then you will see the course in your, you know, course list. Where is the course list? Here is your course list, okay? Your courses are here. When you click there, then you will see the listed courses in your list. So you can start your webinar now. When you click on çocuklara İngilizce öğretiminde oyunlar which means teaching English games in teaching English to young learners. Okay? So when you click it, you will see müfredat. Müfredat means what we have in this webinar. So we have three videos, okay? Three videos. After clicking the webinar, you will see müfredat. Müfredat means you have three videos here. Then you can also download the PDF of the presentation of the video. You cannot download the videos, but you can download the presentation, PowerPoint, you know, presentations of the videos. After clicking the to the DERS video, so which means, you know, the video of the course, you will have a screen like this. On the left, you can see the video. 
and you will start the video and watch all of it okay in order to say I finished the lesson you should watch all the video okay so here on the right you see dersi tamamladım which means I finished the lesson after watching the video you should click it dersi tamamla which means finish the lesson and then after you click it you will see the, f the name of the first video here tek kartla oynanan oyunlar on the right and it will be green okay you see that yeşil olacak it will be green so after clicking to I finish the lesson it will be green let's click to I finish the lesson now when you click it asks you are you sure emin misiniz then you will say yes and as you see it will become green you, it means dersi tamamladınız means you finished the lesson so also you will see a green tick here on the first video after that you will click to the second video okay second video and you will do the same you will watch the video then you will say I finished the lesson dersi tamamladım and it will say are you sure you will say yes and then you will see the second video with you know green tick and you will do the same with the third video okay you will watch all of them and it will say tebrikler congratulations so after you see this tebrikler congratulations you will go to mezuniyet belgesi which means graduation report so when you click to graduation report you will see you know certifica raporu certifica raporu means the report of certificate so it is the last thing that you should do when you click to the certificate report then you will get your certificate with your name with the you know uh, signature of our rector and with the signature of the head of the you know courses department so you can download the certificate in pdf format and uh, done yes there it is so you will get your certificate of participation from my webinar so games are really important don't forget games are really important and i can talk about an ad advantage of playing a game well once students play the game effectively and enjoy it in their classes you will not need to give instruction again and again you will just go and say okay let's play happy families let's play memory game or let's play snap so you don't need to give instruction again and again which will save your time and also i want to share a link with you here you can see lots of powerpoint templates you can see scoreboards you can see game boards okay many things in you know technologic.wordpress.com slash download so you can download many materials okay that you are going to use while teaching english to young learners these are great sources for you i hope you enjoy all of them i hope you use all of them in your classes so thank you very much for listening to me so if you have any questions i hope this video will be you know installed will be uh, uploaded to uh, youtube then you can ask your questions and comments uh, under the video thanks a lot for listening see you next time so greetings from turkey from chanakkale 18 mart university from kazakhstan from atrav university